hello my beautiful people you are welcome to my channel i'm jackie fashion if you just stumble on this channel or if it is your first time to come across this channel you are definitely welcome and thanks for stopping by if you haven't subscribed please just hit the red subscribe button turn on your notification post so that each time i upload you will be the first to watch and if you're my returning subscriber thanks so much i love you so today i'm going to be showing you how to draft a basic long sleeve so here in my pattern paper i fold it into two and i also tape it down for any disturbances i have my pen my ruler my cuff ruler and my tape so let's start in order for us to start i will just use this shirt in all this dress to show you how to achieve your armhole so you can see i place my tape at this midpoint so if you're doing it for a dress that you have cut so you have to measure your rank armhole just the way you see me doing it so whatever you have you add it into two why because it's front and back so i'm just going to add i have nine sorry i have nine so i'm going to add the nine into two so i have 18. i just keep the dress aside so i'm going to do that on my pattern paper let's just find some starting point so i roll my line there now i'm going to get the length of my sleeve so i place my tape at my starting point so the length of the sleeve i'll be going with i will go with 20 and i also add two inch for my fold allowance so now i also need my able line so if you're doing it for somebody please place the tape from the shoulder to his elbow so from my shoulder to my elbow i have 10 so um, i draw my line i mark my 10 like that and then i draw my lines so now i'm just connecting my lines at my dotted point now at this point i need a cap line where my armhole sleeve would be so in order for me to get my cap line i will take my boss divided by 12 whatever i have i'm going to use it for my armhole so my boss divided by 12 is two three quarter so i'm just going to insert my two three quarter like that so i'm going to add half inch that is 0.5 for the two three quarter so if you're doing yours just take whatever you have as your boss you divide it by 12 whatever you have sometimes you can have three inch four inch so in that you just add 0.5 so that is what i do so i mark it down so my boss was 35 35 divided by 12 i have two three quarter plus half inch that is 0.5 so that is how i find my line so i rule it down now we were having 18 for the dress we measure we have 18 so 18 divided by 2 is 9 so i insert my knife like that and i'm not going to leave it like that so i add one inch for my seam allowance why i'm adding one inch because the pattern paper is fold into two when i open it like this it's going to be two inch the back and the front so at that point i'm also going to place my ruler just like you see me placing it to rule a line is the line i'm going to use to find my armhole so i just place my ruler at my 18 where my 18s end so i rule my line so at this line i'm going to meet, find the midpoint of this line see the way i place my tape where my 18 end so 
I'm going to find the midpoint. So in that line, I have 10. So half of 10 is 5. So I dot it down. From that 5, I'm also going to find another midpoint. That is my 5. So I'm also going to find another midpoint at this way. So 5 divided by 2 is 2 and a half. You see, I have 2 and a half. So I'm going to insert my 2 and a half from where my I mark my 18. That is, I, I dot like that. So I'm also going to find another midpoint at that place. So I just mark the two and a half. So now I'm going to draft the, the sleeve now. So I'll be going down from that two and a half. I'll be going down downward by a quarter inch. So I'm just going to draw a small line and ends where my equator end like that. That is where my equator end. Okay, at that midpoint, the first midpoint that we find that was 10 divided by 2, I'm going to go up by half inch. So I draw a line and end where my half inch end. At this point, again, that we divided by 5 divided by 2, we have 2 and a half. So I'm going to go up by a quarter inch. Now I'm done with that. So I will go with my curve ruler. I will start blending it and end where my 5N, that is 10 divided by 2, I have 5. So I will place my curve ruler and end where my 5N. So you can just watch what I'm doing. So that is my five from that line i'm going to go straight and end where my armhole was measured and end so there you see that that is going to serve as my back sleeve why i'm going to find my front sleeve so what i'm going to do now i'll just take the a quarter inch that I place at this point so I'm going to rule my line and end where I place my five you will see what I'm doing so I'm just going to go down you see I go down instead of going up I go down okay at this point it was half inch downward so I try using my curve ruler it was not going but at the end, I'm still going to use it because it was not easy for me to do it. So I end where my a quarter inch downward. You see that? So now I try also using my straight ruler. It was not going. So I use my free hand. It's not also going. So I'm going to try my curve ruler. Okay, now it's not really the best, but I'll use my free hand to do it very well, to cough it nicely. At times, drawing for me is really, really difficult, but at times when I make it, it's so nice. I was no good in drawing. Even as I'm a designer, I'm no good in drawing. So this is my back sleeve. And this is my front sleeve. Let me try blending it well so that you can see. Guys, don't mind my drawing. No. Just see what I'm capable of. Because if you want to see my drawing, oh, I'm zero in drawing. Even in school, I'm not really good in drawing. But when it comes to design, when I want to move a design, I will do it the best so now we have the back sleeve and the front sleeve so now I will go to my 
run sleeve I measure my hand so at that point my round sleeve was 10 10 divided by 2 I have 5 so I insert my 5 I add 1 inch for seam allowance so I will do the same at my fold line so 5 divided by 2 is sorry 10 divided by 2 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 so here as my elbow line I just measure my elbow I have 12 12 divided by 2 is 6 so I insert my 6 and I add half inch for my seam allowance so now I'm going to connect the points together all the dotted points I'm going to connect it together so I go with my straight ruler see the way I'm doing it so now I will connect it to where my arm holes end you see that so at that point it's too sharp I will use my curve ruler to blend it You see what I'm doing I'm blending it so finally we have our sleeve this is how if you want to draw your sleeve if you want to cut it you're going to cut first this this part for the back then when you cut it then you open it you cut this part for the front so so I've, um, I've come to the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed, please just hit the red subscribe button and turn your notification post so that each time I upload, you will be the first to watch. And to you, my old subscriber and also to my new subscriber, I love you so much. Thanks so, so much for being there for me. And don't forget to drop your comments, like, and share. Indeed, you guys are so amazing. Thanks so much. You will see me in my next video or I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. I love you.